Walk down just about any grocery aisle anymore, you're likely to see food labeled gluten-free. But for those affected by celiac disease or gluten intolerance, this is not just a dietary fad. This is a reality of life for a lot of people. And with us today, we have Hallie Klecker. She is the author of a cookbook called The Pure Kitchen. That's right. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. You are it. a very young, uh, budding chef. By the way, you're 20 years old, yes. and you discovered you had a gluten intolerance at, at what age? Um, I was about 15, and um, I was having a lot of health issues. Um, I was having chronic fatigue, just a lot of digestive symptoms. Um, I was having a lot of unexplained weight loss. And after a lot of uh, research and trial and error, we realized it was connected to sensitivity to gluten and dairy. This is a very real condition, and, and so out of this, you've realized that you can eat wonderfully yes. um, and, and uh, food with a lot of taste in it yet even right. though it's gluten-free. Yep, gluten-free doesn't have to be limiting. Um, it can actually be a great way to, to really get a lot of good nutrition into your diet. So okay, so talk about what you have here today. Yes, yeah, so down at the end there we have the apple spice cake with a caramel frosting and which all of these are also dairy-free too, um, which is great. Then we have the apple um, and cranberry oatmeal muffins. Okay, and um, then these are a pumpkin oatmeal breakfast cluster. That's right. Is that right? Did I get the name right? Yep. So we can just kind of show you here how to make them. Um, in this bowl, we have two and a half cups of gluten free rolled oats. Oats can sometimes be cross contaminated with gluten, so it's I was important. Say, that's one of the tips in your book. Just watch in the bulk bins yep. anyway for cross contamination. Yep. So these are certified gluten free, and we just throw in um, some walnuts. We have some flax seeds, some sunflower seeds. These are all really high in, you know, protein, fiber, so you're going to stay satisfied okay. from something like what this. What else do we have here? Um, we have some raisins. We can throw those in. Okay. Banana? Yeah, mashed banana. You can mix that into this bowl. Um, okay. This has some pumpkin. Um, we have maple syrup, a little grapeseed oil. It smells awesome. So you can throw all that together. Okay. And then just... We have 30 seconds. Mix it right in here. Okay. So once you have all of those things combined, um, it's just really easy dump and stir recipe. Um, you just form them into small clusters and like put these. them on a baking sheet. Yep, you bake them for about 20 minutes and they come out looking like this. They, uh, they smell wonderful. They the are very are awesome. autumnal. Most important thing you would want um, folks to know about, um, you know, if they're experiencing symptoms. What would you recommend someone do? You know, I would just say to simplify. Um, just really clear the clutter from your diet. Go back to a basic, just a vegetables, you know, healthy, healthy proteins, nuts, Soup, seeds, helps. and and just keep it simple. All right, Hallie, congratulations. Thank we need you. to keep an eye on you because you're doing this full time now, developing recipes. Yes, I am. We have a link to uh, the recipes under news links. Each of these three, and then the book. Uh, at newslinks, which is at NBC15.com. So check it out there. Hallie, congratulations. Thanks Thank so you. much for joining us today.